In today's video, we're going to talk about why your dropshipping store that you probably put in hours on trying to create actually sucks because it most likely does, okay? And obviously, I'm not trying to be a douchebag here. This video is not about why you suck, really, but it's definitely the title and sort of, yes, but it's more about like just to help you guys out, you know, to create a better store, do your Facebook ads better. We're going to go over Facebook ads, store design, product descriptions, basically everything. So first of all, guys, ignore all the hair on my uh, pullover here, whatever it's called. Ignore my hair as well. I just came out of the shower, coronavirus, so I can't get a haircut either. I'm actually planning on skinning myself if this doesn't go over soon. Second of all, the thing I have to tell all of you guys before this video is I upgraded my office upstairs. And it's gonna look hella cool. I got these cool ass LED lights. I got so many cool quotes on the walls, everything. That's gonna be my next YouTube studio now in the upcoming, maybe this weekend. So maybe you guys will see me in a whole different place in the next video. It's gonna look awesome. It's gonna look so insanely cool. So I'm really trying to go hard on YouTube now. I invested like $3,000 here. Just, I'm gonna do that straight after this video to get everything ordered. That's gonna be cool. Without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Last video's free 30 minute consulting call giveaway winner is Jamar Jabril. So you can message me my Instagram will be here guys I have one spot left in the expensive coaching I got and I also have one oh I will give you guys a give you guys the finger I also have one more in the in cheaper alternative just so you guys know I actually have two in the cheaper one anyways guys if you the only thing I want from you guys now is that you go down here go straight down here and smash the like button give me a subscribe because you don't want to miss out on the content we drop here and you never know if you're going to be the next guy who wins any types of giveaways here so engage guys might help you guys out anyways let's get into the video Guys, like you don't even know how motivated I'm to do YouTube now when I'm gonna get all of this stuff ordered. I'm not gonna expose anything, but like the office I'm gonna record is gonna be hella cool. It's upstairs in one of my other rooms. Anyways, the first reason you suck at dropshipping. So the number one thing that I truly believe is keeping you guys away from succeeding when it comes to dropshipping is that you have a trash ad copy. Seriously, guys, you have a trash ad copy just using everyone else's video. You know, just like stealing other people's videos to run a, you know, let's just say a skincare product and you just search it up on Facebook, stealing their videos. It will keep you away from success. You gotta be original. If you ever were to copy someone else's video, you should probably put your logo in the right corner, which is probably even illegal. So just get your own ad copies. You could use AliExpress photos, whatever, you know, whatever. I, I don't even care. I'm just so hyped because this channel is gonna be so cool now. Anyways, guys, you've gotta make sure that you have good ad copies. You gotta know what you're doing in the second one is a little bit just like ad copy it's the your description you want to have a good ass description because most of you guys descriptions are probably bad i'm going to show you guys an example now of a really good description and i could also show you an example of a good description versus a really really bad description and these are both on the same stores this is one of the guys i'm coaching so you guys can see his evolution of when i first talked to him the description he used to make versus the descriptions he makes now when he works with me so let's get into this here we go guys we're inside his store and this is the description he made to start with before we work together i mean it's sort of like my my layout i think we made this one together but he was not that good because it was his first one ever made that was actually like trying to be okay so i told him the layout the paragraph then one picture and then paragraph and this was the first description he ever made and what i'm going to show you guys right now is the evolution of how we changed that within like five days to the description he's making to this day so the description this guy's coming up with today is so much better you guys will see right now by the way this product, I had a 75% profit margin. If not, some days I even had an 80% profit margin, which is not, I'm not kidding you. I'll throw up a screenshot right now and you guys will see that. So anyways, this is the, this is the guy's product page now. One week later, look at how it is. He definitely stepped up a little bit. He definitely did step up. So this is the awesome description. I mean, it looks hella good, guys. And this is not just copied by someone else. He might have copied some stuff, but at the, at the end of the day, he made up his own stuff, which is insane. Number four, stack interest. You guys don't want to stack interest. It sucks. It's, it's like the worst thing you guys could ever do when you're trying to drop ship. Don't stack your interest, please, guys. Don't do that. So I'm going to teach you guys exactly what to do instead of stacking your interest because it's probably the stupidest move you could ever do. Unless you're testing up on something like, you know, targeting parents for children to zero to two years old and zero to five, you could split test. But still, I recommend like running in your own ads. It's like one, one interest in each ad. So just... It's hella stupid. Don't stack interest in ads. If you don't even know what that is, then don't run Facebook ad. You gotta make sure you figure out what it is. And guys, I believe you. If you're watching this channel, you're totally good enough to make it happen. So guys, go out and make it happen, of course. I believe in all of you guys, but seriously, don't stack interest. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work long-term or short-term. It worked for me once when I was running Halloween store when I was inexperienced. I didn't know anything about dropshipping at all. But what I did was I stacked interest in the ad set. I stacked like five different ones. I shared for Halloween, 
purge mods, got sold the purge mods, by the way. And I searched for like creepy, scary movies and stuff and just stacked all of them into one interest, you know, into one ad set. And it just worked. Like I made like 10 sales. But then, you know, later on, I didn't know what to, how to scale. It died out. And the bad thing about stacking interest in the same ad set is you will never know which interest made a sale. You will never know which interest that is profitable. That is why you don't stack. Because if you stack, you won't know which one made a sale. And then you're kind of stuck. It's going to be hard to scale, right? So then you have to split test them individually later. Which I don't recommend. Just moral of the story. Don't stack interest, guys. It's hell stupid. Someone started playing music. One of my friends started playing music in the other floor. So we, I, the video got a little bit messed up. So I had to go to tell him to shut up. Obviously in a nice way. No, it was not really in a nice way. Anyways, guys. So the second thing here, or maybe the fourth, I don't care. The, the thing you gotta, gotta keep in mind now is the product you choose. If you're just gonna try to jump on the same thing, it doesn't work. People tell you when to start dropshipping, don't try to reinvent the wheel. But I think that's exactly what you're gonna do. And you don't have to reinvent the wheel. But you could find a different version. If everyone sells acne removers, it's after, it's, everyone sells acne removers. That means you should sell mold removers. And that's how you guys, you guys gotta think. Like, don't sell what other people are selling. So if someone sells something, find something that's similar, but it solves another problem. Like, that's the thing. And guys, you also gotta keep in mind, like, if someone is not comfortable in their own skin or their own looks, they will always pay to fix that. That's as easy as that. Someone hates their nine to five job and you can make their job easier. They will always pay. That's how we got to think when you look for products. So anyway, so the product you choose, you got to make sure you choose a good product. Don't choose like saturated shit. Don't think you can jump on it. Because if you guys are a new dropshipper, saturated products are actually not the way to go. Because you will never be able as a new dropshipper that doesn't know shit about dropshipping. You'll never be able to compete with the big guys that kills it with saturated products. So just don't do it. And the fifth or sixth or seventh, you guys don't know how to run ads. I'm not saying all of you guys, obviously, but a beginner, for example, doesn't know how to run ads and that he will get screwed. There's no point even trying to fa run Facebook ads. If you don't know what to do, I recommend you watching a video on how to test the product. Then once you test the product and you scale successfully, you probably might get really stressed because you know how to scale after you found a winner. But watch, for example, my video on how to test products. I'll link that one in the description. But figure out how to test products, guys. Or even if you're running with influencers, do your research up front so you know what you're actually doing. If you get to the scaling part, make sure you have some money for scaling. But, but this is just like tips here if you don't know how to run facebook ads don't run them you gotta know how to run your ads the next one is copying others it just doesn't work it's the same as saturated products doing what everyone else is doing don't copy others be original because you can never compete with a good ass story they already do this thing perfectly so there's no point even trying and the next one is having a trash product page, which I've seen a couple of you guys have. Now I've seen a couple of you guys have an awesome one, but guys, seriously, don't have a trash product page. It's not going to work. You got to put your soul into your product page. You got to put your soul into it. Yeah, that's how it is. You got to have good trust badges that's small and not spammy at all. And honestly, I would recommend to keep it black. Like, don't make it like green and big and all that weird shit. And you got all these weird apps, the pop-ups. Uh, someone in the US just bought this item and like only 70 left in stock. And then, you know sign up to an to your newsletter to get 10 percent off like don't have any pop-ups it is stupid like when i go into a store a drop stream store i'm gonna review and it's one of you guys send me on message and you want me to review your store and i see the spinning wheel i just close it down i get so frustrated remove all these stupid pop-ups there's no one that believes it no one thinks it's cool you're distracting the customer they come to your store and then they see a spinning wheel because they were going to see your product you distract them you they already might have a hard time making a purchase. So if you're going to distract them at the same time, you're, you're fucked. The next one is going to be having false shipping times. And what I mean by false shipping times is that you say what's on AliExpress. Because AliExpress might say 11 to 23 days. If AliExpress says 11 to 23 days, you guys got to make sure you put in 12 to 26 days just in case it arrives a little bit later. So always, if AliExpress says something, say a little bit more just to be on the safe side. So we don't want you want to want to deal with any chargebacks. But what you also could do is just have a no refund policy unless the product is broken. That also works. Next Next one is you don't have reviews. You gotta have Luke's reviews. Like people don't trust your store. Don't even think it. Yeah, you might think you're a beginner and an expert, but people don't trust your store. Get some reviews on it. Another mistake when it comes to the product is selling something that you like, something you're passionate about. Just because you love gaming does not mean you should make a gaming store with gaming headsets and all that stuff. Just don't sell what you like, guys. Because your perfect ID, like I always say, your perfect ID is stupid ID. That's just how it is. Even my perfect ID is so stupid. Don't think that you guys know the customer. You don't. Just because you know a lot about electronics does not mean your store is going to be good and convert. So don't sell what you like. Sell what actually is going to work. If you're running influencers, another mistake is not researching your influencer, checking their engagement. That's something you could do if you just go to the influencer that have a couple of hundred thousand followers. They should obviously 
they get some thousands of likes and if you take their videos they should have a pretty high reach of people in their videos as well so make sure research your influencer if to do them it's just these are just quick tips that you guys got gotta avoid i'm not gonna talk too long on them because you guys already understand also picking the first product you find and making a store around you see a phone case you make a store around it that does not work and another thing that i had in mind here real quick is that don't use any software spy tools um ecom hunt all of that stuff it's bullshit if the owner sees this video i'm probably fucked but don't use ecom hunt or anything like that it will just show you saturation if they show you interest to use everyone else is using it just don't do what everyone else is doing seriously that's not how dropping works i know some gurus say like do whatever everyone else is doing jump on saturation it doesn't work you guys know i'm not big on saturation at all i hate it anyways guys it's gonna be it for today's video hope you guys found it really valuable and guys seriously this house this room or this house is already cool but this room like when i'm gonna work upstairs and film youtube it's gonna be sick really sick so guys drop a comment here the guys who comments the best video id will win a free 30 minute consulting call with me and also guys some random person will so i'm giving gonna give away two calls in this video one random of you guys will also win it just by commenting that's gonna be it for today's video if you want to increase your chances by two just by you know commenting you could comment an id of a video and you could probably like when to call i don't know but anyways make smash the like button like subscribe comment and i'll talk to you guys later peace